While you couldn't see it by looking at the sun with your own eyes, shooting out from the surface last week, flares that got a lot of attention, erupting 150 million kilometers from Earth, the most powerful we've seen so far this year. We're still in the solar maximum era, so these sorts of things potentially can cause problems. The flares, designated as X-Class, which is the strongest, sent out a burst of energy and radiation that led to shortwave radio blackouts on five continents. And NASA continuing to watch the sunspot where they came from, called AR-4087. The fact that it is big has the potential to launch a lot of stuff towards us. Whether it will or not, and will it be aimed towards the Earth, we just don't know. Solar flares can be accompanied by ejections that can hit the Earth and not only mess with communications, but disrupt satellite operations and even cause power outages. Northern lights. They can also light up the night sky and lead to the northern lights being seen much further south than usual, which happened spectacularly a year ago. The sun is currently at its solar maximum, the peak of an 11-year solar cycle that sees it go from being quiet to very active. We right now are in a solar maximum. That's why we're getting such great northern lights over the last few months, few years. Um, and that will start to wane. And then uh, we'll have to wait 11 years for it to happen again. Yesterday, it fired a warning shot at us. It was Social media has been all abuzz about the solar activity, which we could see more of this year. Though no more interruptions here on Earth are forecast, at least for the next few days. John Benavalli-Rouse, CTV News.